And I'm Juan Gonzalez. Welcome to all of our listeners and viewers around the country and around the world. Before we turn to the big Super Tuesday results, Juan, your piece in the New York Daily News, now is the time for Latino millennials to vote. Uh, talk about this. Uh, well, you know, one of the interesting things about this election, uh, really, is that a Trump, uh, especially now as he's getting closer and closer to being seen as the likely uh, Republican uh, uh, candidate for president, has been basing a lot of his campaign on, uh, on uh, uh, building a wall with Mexico, attacking Mexico, attacking the immigrant community. Uh, and we're seeing increasingly this the impact on young people across the country, especially young Latinos. We've seen the reports in the, in the last week of high schools. Uh, in, in Iowa and Indiana, where young white, uh, one young, uh, white students were saying, uh, build a wall and Trump, Trump, and uh, taunting uh, fellow Latino students. Uh, we're seeing a, an enormous uh, interest in this race by young Latinos across the country. And they are, especially the millennial Latinos, are the biggest, by far, growing sector of the American electorate. One half of the 27 million uh, uh, eligible Latino voters who are citizens and over the age of 18 are millennials. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, and there's been a, sh in a sharp increase, a 40 percent increase just since 2008 in the number of eligible Latinos uh, that could vote. Uh, so the reality is that uh, the issue of a registration drive, which many Latino leaders are now pointing out, you've seen Univision say that they're going to use all of their television stations and their networks to promote a three million voter registration drive among Latinos. You, uh, I, I think what's actually needed is more of a Freedom Summer campaign by the Latino Youth of America, similar to what happened in the Civil Rights Movement, uh, that uh, where thousands of Latino youth go into their communities and say, you're not going to deport our parents. We're American citizens, and we're going to make a stand uh, in, in the terms of uh, Basta Trump. And I think that that is increasingly the sentiment I'm hearing among Latino leaders across the country, that they've got to harness the millennial Latinos who now represent uh, not only do they represent uh, 50 percent of the entire uh, potential electorate, but that every year 800,000 young Latinos turn 18, and this is going to continue for years to come. Uh, so I think that uh, that's what the Republican Party is really de uh, very much afraid of, that uh, Trump's campaign is essentially digging a grave for the Republican Party in the future.